talk about how to get around in QuickBooks and some of the main features of QuickBooks so that it'll help you to navigate the program a little better. First of all, on the very top and the blue line, that's your title bar. That helps you to know which QuickBooks file you're working in. You can see we're in the Rock Castle construction data file. Next, we have the menu bar with file, edit, view, list. This is very similar to what you'll find when you're working in Microsoft Office or in Explorer or Excel. The menu bar stays pretty consistent from one version of QuickBooks to the next. And if you upgrade to a new year, your menu bar is always there and it never really changes too awfully much. Next, then, we have what we call the icon bar. And this is the home page, and you have different icons up here to help you to jump to things that you need to work with quickly and efficiently. And we can customize this icon bar. So to customize the icon bar, you can right-click anywhere on the icon bar and select Customize Icon Bar. This allows you to go in and put the shortcuts on there that you need and things that you'll be working with. So for example, if you'll watch right up here, you can see as I take these icons off, I delete them, they come off of there, and then I can click on Add and add the icons that I want up there. So perhaps I want a shortcut for um, backing up my data file. So I can click on OK. I can click Add. Maybe I want to scroll down and pick up the Write Checks icon because I write checks quite frequently. So I want to add that Write Checks icon. So you can customize these icons to put shortcuts up there that you use quite frequently. The centers over here, for example, the Vendor Center and the Employee Center and Online Banking, that takes up a lot of room. So you can see how I've, shorted, I've shortened Customers. Instead of saying the Customer Center, I made it say Customers. So I can show you how to do that by shortening the Vendor Center. I click on Vendor Center, click Edit, and I can change that to Vendors. And now that's taking up less room so that I have more room to put more icons on there. So you can customize the icon bar to make it work for you in the shortcuts that you need to use. Then we have our home page. The home page is a big flowchart of all the tasks and the daily transactions that you might be entering. They broke the, flow, the home page into the vendor center, the customer center. Down here we have our employee center. Over here is the banking activities and up here's company. So all of these icons are on here based on the preferences that you've set up. So your home page might look different. For example, if you told QuickBooks that you don't do statements, you won't see any of these icons on your home page. If you don't use estimates, you won't see the estimates icon. So your home page will look a little different depending on the preferences that you've set up for QuickBooks. One of the features that I really like to use over here is my open windows list because I like to jump back and forth between windows so I can keep several windows open and I can jump back and forth by clicking on them right here. To get the open windows list, you can just click on view, open windows list and that will bring it up for you and that allows you to jump back and forth between your windows. To close windows in QuickBooks, you can come over and click on the X to close the window or you can hit your escape key and that will close the windows as well. Another thing, if you have lots of windows open as you're working with QuickBooks, before you close QuickBooks you should click on Windows Close All. This allows you to close all your windows quickly and it will start up QuickBooks a lot faster that way so it doesn't have to open all those windows. So we covered the main parts of QuickBooks. We've got the title bar, the menu bar, the icon bar, and then our home page helps us to navigate through our daily tasks, and the open windows list is one of those things that I really like.